away the aggressiveness of which is a huge part of his skill set. 25 points and four rebounds. That's a great wraparound pass by Mitch. And Kai Soto, easy dunk. Mark Harris has been great. Daniel Johnson's always going to want it. And there's Kai Soto. Great group protection. The goaltending on this. Picks it up. Look at this. That's how you go up there and get it, big fella. Well, you could also be surprised it came with getting Mitch Creek in an isolation. Mitch McCarran steps back. Mid-ranger at the other end. Dufemeyer did all the hard work. That's been kind of the story of the day. Phoenix, they've been having some really good possessions, led themselves to mismatch. They traveled too, got away with that. Dufemeyer, no good. Johnson, though. Inside, too big, too strong. Out rebound to Kyle Adnam. And went back, of which is a huge part of his skill set. 25 points and four rebounds. That's a great wraparound pass by Mitch. And Kai Soto. That was, going, that was underneath the rim and slap at the rim. Hannah's bailed out by Daniel Johnson for three. <laughs> Couple of plays. the second quarter as Hannah's floated no good, kept alive perfectly by Guy Soto. Players go sprawling. Dusty Hannah's able to finish it. He's up to 10 points. An offensive rebound. Four minutes to go. Could be ripping that down. Need to save every single possession. Giving up 88 points to an Adelaide 36ers team when there's still just under four minutes to go. Bigger questions. Growth. He's come in to this league. Played with Perth, barely got minutes. Came in himself. Goes to Illawarra. And have become a reliable three-point shooter. Shows his ability on offense to be a threat. I'm a huge critic, especially when it comes to him, but today he's given some good minutes. He spoke really well at halftime. Critically about this stuff, two in a row to get the momentum back, and Dusty Anna's in his ability to have aggressiveness and put pressure on the rim. And at halftime, we, we credited the Phoenix way they turned it around on the defensive end a little bit in the second quarter. Only hit one extra throw, it's this three second call. You mentioned and DJ wow. and that game over. Wow. 19 points. Played all right. Marshall came in, four points in four minutes. Everybody came in. Miss Adelaide team and brought something to the table. I'll tell you, you know what? I realize why. Look at those couple of threes. Of course, the uh, I dubbed him the next star whisperer. Oh. First, the mellow ball when they were teammates in the backcourt. Last year, was Josh Giddy, who both going on to do is exceptional. As uh, Homicide just spoke about earlier, his story is great and it continues to get better every single time he takes the call. And today is perfect. He knocks this one down. That's an outrageous statement from you that you wouldn't even think about them missing the last four free throws. There you go, nothing but that. Hunji up for the 36ers who have been the better team. Melbourne and Illawarra not far away. Hashtag next level. Only for Adelaide. And they thoroughly deserve this big win in front of their home fans. Well, they do. And scoreline probably looks a bit more flattering in the end. It was nearly a 20-point margin in the last few minutes. They just turned up the pressure and got some easy buckets down the stretch. So what a win for the Adelaide 36ers.